All right, so everybody else died around you. You're the last one. What do you do? That's what we're going over today. My name's Greg, and you're watching How to Play Paintball. All right, guys, so uh, one of the big things with this is, is trying to find a bunker that you can play easily. Uh, if you're in the snake, try to find a bigger uh, bunker in the snake that you can get to, something that you can, you don't have to do weird contortions to get out of the way because better players are gonna be trying to pinch you out and coming to come bunker you. Uh, that's why I really like these Aztecs because um, you can play four different sides. You have the two sides, the top and bottom on the right, top and bottom on the left, and then you also have the very top. So you're able to play a whole bunch so that they can't force you into um, you know just tucking in and having to try to stay a lot. All right, so another good bunker to get to is the uh, the tower. Something um, it, just because you can have a wider base, uh, so you have more control. It's not like a can where you have to roll out and shoot. It's more of a snapshot. So it's uh, it's going to help you. Um, you know, you, you have a whole bunch of areas that you can come out of. If you need to tuck in, you can. You can push against it. Sometimes you're like this, just trying to stay tight and just tucked in so that nobody can shoot you. Um, so this is good because you're able to stand up in it. So something else that I prefer is uh, a corner bunker. And the reason being is you can see around here that it, it takes a lot for somebody to get to come and bunker me. So I'm probably going to be able to catch them before they get to me. Now obviously if it's like a pin or like a little brick, don't go to the corner. You want to try to find that little bit bigger bunker so that you have more that you can play and you can sit more comfortable. You're able to, uh, like I said, be able to come out on all sides, um, even over the top if you can. That's again why I really like these Aztecs in those situations where uh, you're the last guy. So I think the biggest issue that I see a lot with uh, with younger players is when they are the last guy, they start getting all frantic and they're trying to snap out and, and that's when you're gonna get shot. Uh, the better players are gonna be able to capitalize on that and be able to uh, uh, close out those games and just wait for you to make the mistake. Stay calm, take a breath if you need to, uh, and, and you can actually win these. Uh, it is possible to be able to do that, but it's gonna be difficult. You are gonna need to battle, you are gonna need to uh, uh, be able to uh, keep guys from moving and all that, but the main thing is to stay calm because if you start getting all antsy and all that, you're not going to be able to be the best player that you can. Your shot's going to be off, everything about that. They're going to be able to see those mistakes and then you get shot. So then you're useless to the team. So a good drill that you can do to help you out in these uh, low body situations and also when you're the only one is that drill that we had done before where it was a two on three. I would take it a step further and do a one on two where you're starting in the corner or starting in another bunker and you have to learn how to listen, how to... Uh, you know, kind of figure out and read the paint coming in of where this guy might be, you know, what you need to do. You might need to go and bunker somebody because maybe they're um, kept in for some reason. There's a whole bunch of things that you can learn from that. But if you uh, don't want to use a lot of paint, what you can do is the, uh, the back corner guy, the, the guy that's by himself, is uh, only able to have a hopper and a pod and the two players or the three players are only able to have a hopper so it helps them with communication with being able to close out a game but it also helps out this guy to learn how to read the paint and uh, you know it could be like an end game situation where um, you know let's say you're up on points your, your team isn't going to throw the towel uh, if you're up on points you just kind of have to take the lumps it sucks <laughs> it's, it's not fun to get shot a lot but I know that if I can kill time then I'm able to help my team because now it's harder for the other team to, to come back. Uh, whereas the other team, they need to, uh, uh, to push it and try to, to get that other point to start to be able to tie up and then beat us. So it's helping you out with a whole bunch of different things. Uh, if you want to do it the same idea as the, uh, the other drill with the two on three that we had done before, you could do it where if the two or the three lose, they have to run a lap. Um, or if they, don't, if they don't shoot the guy within a minute, then they have to run a lap, something like that, just as a punishment. All right, guys, so that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, guys, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks. No, no, I'm just stretching because now I'm cramping.